Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, this project today is going to be this new workbench with the integrated router table. Hope you enjoy the video. I will see you guys at the end. Okay, so that's where the workbench is going to live and I've laid the board down on the floor so you can see the footprint that the bench is going to take up. I'm going to lose a little bit of space but I've still got quite a lot left between here and the bottom of the door. You can see there in the bottom left hand corner. So it should be okay. We should have plenty of space left. So oh, I'm going to start with the legs and these need to be 33 inches and we're just going to chop that down on the chop saw. So with what's left over now I've got uh, six support rails to cut and they're all 21 inches long. And now we're going to cut the two rails for the front and the back, 46 and a half inches. I'll be able to get both of those out the one board. So on four of these cross braces for the legs, I need to cut in um, a rabbit on the end here. It's a rabbit and a dado. It's a rabbit, isn't it? Rabbit on the end and a dado in the middle. And I cut this rabbit off, and it has to be one and a half inches that way, and three quarters of an inch up this way. I've got the blade set at the right height. I've got my stock in, and I'm just gonna. Pass, make a pass, and I can make a cut on the end, make a pass, budget over, make a pass, and that will hog out most of the material I need, and then we'll just do a little bit of clean up with the chisel at the end. Okay, so we've got all the stretches done and we've cut in our uh, dados there, the rabbit, sorry. And they're all nice and trim. I've got some nice finishes on that. Now, pay attention when you're cutting those because that's the shape that you want. Not that. Pay attention when you're swapping it around to the other side. That's a bit of a wasted one. I've had to cut a new piece. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to chop the two side pieces off where I've cut the rabbits in. And then that bit will become a crayon train. If you're not seeing that video, I'll leave a link up above. Have a take a look. So we're going to attach these braces now with glue and screws. So for the middle brace to help line this up, the piece that I cut wrong earlier on I'm now going to use as a spacer. Use that shoulder to lock it in. 
Yeah. And I'm actually going to go on there like that. Just one more to go. Right, now it's time to fit the stretcher and again I'm just going to screw that down to here, pre-drill and screw. So now to secure the, this bench to that bench, I'm literally going to butt it up against that old one and I'm just going to drill a series of holes and we'll screw it to the existing bench as it goes. Now the legs don't line up and that's kind of on purpose. Um, I wanted a little bit more width so I wanted them more out um, so I can slide those bins in a little bit easier. Um, so the legs aren't going to attach just yet. I'll fix that later, I can just make a little brace or something and attach it on the outside to the two of them. But for now, just by screwing it to the existing face plate of this one and to this one, that should be fine. Okay, so the observer ones amongst you will notice that I cut six stretches earlier on and I've only used four, two on each leg assembly, and the other two were meant to be braces for here and here. Totally forgot all about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done now. Now, the idea originally was to have two pieces in, like so, but I cut one too short. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this one this way and I'm going to put that one that way and make like a T assembly and that will give this end of the table a little bit more support and less flexing. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so it's time to drop in the router table, or the router insert into here. I'm a little bit nervous if I'm honest, because this is my only piece of 3 quarter inch plywood big enough for the table top. I've got another piece over there, but it's not big enough. Um, so if I screw this one up, I am royally up the creek without a paddle, as they say. Um, so my plan is, because I haven't, I can't remember how I built the first router table, it was ages ago. But my plan is, I'm going to cut this part out with the jigsaw, flip the board over because at the moment it's upside down, this is the trace of the, the profile from underneath, and then using the palm router here, which I have set to the same depth as the existing insert plate, so there, I'll go around the edges and that will give me a lip for where that will sit in, and then I should be able to just drop the whole assembly 
back into place as it was on the old one. Or at least that's the plan. Anyway, there's only one way to do it. It's to crack on and have a go. I've just realised something. I'm super stressing about getting this cut absolutely square and level. And I've just realised it doesn't really matter. What is the important one is this line with the router to make sure that's square. This bit could be any old shape. It makes no difference. Now that that's off my mind. Get rid of all that. And freehand it. To make life a bit easier now. Okay, so the hole for the router table is now done. Um, my original plan was to use the existing insert, but I went too wide on this corner, so now I have to make a new one. Um, and that's no bad thing, because the old one was looking pretty tired, and I want something that looks a bit fresher than that one, so no problem. Um, I've gone a little bit too deep, though, I'll be honest, on, on here. Um, and this is now kind of flimsy, so once this is done, um, I'm going to flip it over and reinforce that with some half inch ply um, and I'm going to do that. So as I said earlier, I was going to use the original temp, uh, the original template from the old router table to drop into the new one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make a new insert. Um, so I've got the table so set up, ready to rock. Um, I'm going to cut this slightly oversized, and then I'm going to sneak up on that cut so that it drops in just perfect. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, super happy with how this has turned out. Um, the whole build from start to finish took me a day. 
Um, yeah, pleased with it. A few mistakes were made though, um, which I kicked myself a little bit about. Um, I had a decorative finish on the front of the, the board, of the, the bench, um, but I put the bench the other way around and it's now at the back, so that was a bit of a waste of time. Um, I went a little bit deep when I was routing out the the, the, uh, the lip for the table, for the router to sit in, uh, but nothing too major. But apart from that, I was happy out. So the next stage of of this is we're going to build a router fence. So we're going to groove out two, two grooves, build an integrated fence and a, a locking system for this end to keep it nice and straight. And uh, then part three is going to be an update on the lifting mechanism. At the moment I have to go underneath to get to wind the, the router up and down. No big deal, but I would like it that if I had a, you know, a socket here or something, and I could just raise it up and down with a socket. So that's what we're going to work on over the next couple of weeks. Not quite sure how I'm going to achieve that yet. Um, we shall see how we get on. Um, this beautiful now top makes this surface look a bit old. So this weekend we'll take this piece off. We'll get a new piece done. Right out some grooves here for the sled to, to move on. And then uh, we'll replace that. Um, and then once we've got the grooves done for the for the fence, we're going to give both of these a couple of coats of varnish. Just we want to keep those looking nice. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.